everybody, Susie Q here, and welcome to Q Aquatics and Exotics. Today, I am moving my betta fish. I'm going to bring them down here into the fish room finally. What I was waiting to do was to build this shelf. So I went and got eight cinder blocks, some two by fours, and this is where I'm going to put, they're all in two and a half gallon tanks. These are two and a half empty tanks. I might use these to put their heater in their sponge filter and the fish while I move down into clean, fresh, 100% water change while I fix them up. So let's go bring them down one by one. So this is the first time I've tried this kind of tank, this kind of setup. And I did it for my 55 gallon because I needed it lower to the ground. I didn't want it eye view because I knew I wanted this shelf for the betta fish. So let me bring them down and check out my beauties. Okay, until I can figure out how to heat these tanks without individual heaters, I have one 7.5 or 10 watt heater in each tank. Each one has its own wire and it's coming down this way. Then I have this, so if you can see it, I already started plugging in. This amazing strip here that each one has its own on-off plug as I plug in tank one, tank two, and I'm going to keep plugging in each tank. So if at any time I need to turn off one, I can just do this. And I'll put a link below on this. I, he I heard about this the very first time, probably a couple of years ago, from One Fish, Two Fish, ROC. And I went and researched them and grabbed them, and it's been a godsend. I even have a smaller one. They have four channel ones. I'll put a link below. I just got to warn you, the links are affiliate links. So if you actually click on that and buy it, I might get a few pennies. And I, if you're interested in it, that would be great. But if not, feel free to just check it out. But while you're in my store, it's called like a Amazon Associate Store. While you're in there, feel free to browse around. I got reptile stuff and aquatic stuff. Anyway, that's a shameless plug. But anyway, this here has been awesome, and I'm going to be plugging in each one of mine. But I would like to set up some kind of drip system where warm water, I only have one heater in a bucket of water. I just don't have the knowledge or the experience yet to do that. So let's go back to the tanks. Each one I'm taking, this is number three. It's going behind everything. And I'm plugging it into number three. And I'm doing it one by one so it's not too much of a spider mess. I mean, it will always be a spider mess when you have eight cords. But I'm trying to reduce that as much as possible. Try to keep that line down. And I just wish if I could heat the basement to the right temperature, that would be another alternative. But I don't have that set up right now. Even though John does heating and air, he does heating and air. Um, he says he could set it up. We yeah, haven't actually talked about what does that mean? How would that look? I don't, I'm not doing propane. I'm not doing a gas heater. I don't know if electric heater would be any different. It would certainly save on all these cords, that's for sure, but I don't know if it would actually save on electricity. So I'm trying to hold this part of the cord in place before I pull this around. Still going. I like these two. This just happened to have eight plugs and I thought of it and I'm like, I think I can rearrange some other outlet so I can use this one because this one's I can turn on and off. That's number seven. And then there's number eight. Whew. Hopefully this cord will reach. 
There is no fish in this tank. Well, there's no fish in the last couple, but I just haven't moved them all. It's finished steeping. This might not reach, but hopefully it will. So all eight reached over here. This would be ideal if it was like up on a shelf and I could see it real easy. And I might just make a shelf for it. But right now I don't have a shelf. And if I made a shelf for it and took it three more, six more inches up there, this last one would not fit. It would not reach. So I'd have to think about that. So I'm going to plug this in here. Now let's turn them on. Let me get my thermometer. And this isn't going to be a real true reading because I put some warm water in some of these. 74, 74, 75, 75, 74, 74, 80. I put warm water in this one. These are all have sponge filters in them, which I'm connecting now. And now they all have 7.5 or 10 watt heaters in them. I'm going to bring them all up to 78 and we'll see because that's what they've been, that's what they've been living at. But I will keep going. And once I have all the air filters, I'll grab bettas from all over and put them in here. I am a sucker for a betta fish. I just happen to think they're absolutely gorgeous. Females alike. So I might start a sorority in my 20 long, in one of my 20 longs. But that's going to be down the road because I have to figure out how to build a shelf for 20 longs. But right now I have the heating. Now to try to figure out the air. If you look real closely, I have a sponge filter in each one. Can you see this when I pick it up? I got a little corner sponge filter in each one. Now that's got a sponge filter and a fern. How beautiful. This one I happen to have a box filter, which is going to have, uh, that's going to have poly filter in it. And if you're not a subscriber to, you should check out Michael's Fish Room. He just did a video on his uh, box filters that he uses. It really explains it in detail. I just use it because I got them at the auction and I like it. And I can change up the media to what I have and what I want. We see these little lava rocks going to have to be a pretty powerful air pump to do eight tanks. I have these two. This is four and this is five. So I've got nine. I like these so much better than the plastic ones with the knobs because these I can visually see if they're off or if they're on. I need that visual. When I sit there and twist, I don't know if I'm twisting on, off, and sometimes it's a balance act. The last thing I need to do is be playing with these little plastic things. So the air will come in. It'll stop here because there's a stopper on it. So if you don't have a stopper, put a hose on the end and tie a tight knot on it or create a stopper for it. Otherwise, you'll just lose all your air. And then it'll shoot out equally through all four. It starts off equally. But if this first one is going six inches away, but this one is going four, three feet away, it's going to be a very different level. So this one might have to be on full blast while this one is on lower. So it's all going to be, it's, it's a silly game that you have to play unless you have a powerful enough pump. Don't know if I have a powerful enough pump, but I'm going to try. So this tank down here had, I don't know if you can see that, three splits. I took one off. It's hanging here. You got to be careful because this can drain your tank all over your floor. And attached one hose. This one hose goes up to all nine tanks. And they're all bubbling. Of course, it didn't happen quickly. It's a lot of balancing. This one, the sponge was filled. The sponge was blocked, and when I squeezed it, psh, shot the quality of the water. But let's see if it clears up on its own. They all have sponge filters, and they all have heaters. They all have live plants. They all have some sort of decoration. This end tank I just found upstairs. There's actually a partition three quarter, two thirds of the way back. So this doesn't have enough space. So maybe if I had a baby betta, I would put the baby betta in there. The light, let me see if you see all of them. Yeah, you see all of them, good. The light spans over half of the two end ones and over all of them. I think that'll be enough for the plants. And we'll let this clear up and see how it looks. But so far, I really like it. I've got all my bettas out of that room down here. Cleared up one more shelf, one more step closer. 
to clearing out that room. Thanks everybody for checking out my better fish setup. One step closer to my reptile room being completed. Thanks guys and I'll see you next time.